Fans are eagerly awaiting the return of EastEnders' favorite Mellowan, played by Tamsin Althwaite, who has not been seen on Albert Square since 2002. And when she makes her grand entrance in 2018, she won't be alone. The blonde will be bringing her 15-year-old son Hunter with her, played by first-time actor Charlie Winter. When Mel departed Walford in April 2002 she was pregnant with Hunter and now he's a teenager, viewers will learn he has never met his father Steve before originally played by Martin Kemp. Producers have described Hunter as charming and charismatic like his Lothario dad, but similarly has a dark side. Both Tamsin and Charlie have begun filming scenes already on the London set, but the air date for their character's first appearance is unknown. Charlie said, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be on such an iconic show as EastEnders. It still feels really surreal that this has happened. It's an exciting time for me, and I can't wait to get stuck in and for everyone to meet Hunter. But before the return of the Owens, this Christmas Day is set to deliver one of EastEnders' traditional festive tragedies as bosses have revealed there will be a shock death. According to the Daily Star one of the show's main characters will be axed in a twist that viewers won't see coming. Show boss John York revealed, I came up with this line someone old, someone new, someone's dead, someone's blue. We really want this Christmas to be full of shocks and surprises, and we have some shocking twists coming up. This refers to the fact that the characters of Linda and Nick Carter played respectively by Kelly Bright and Danny Dyer are set to renew their wedding vows after a tumultuous year. In addition to the Carter renewal, Stacey Fowler, Lacey Turner and Max Branning Jakewood will find themselves reigniting the spark after their affair was exposed 12 years ago. York used to be the soap script editor, but now runs things. He's been instrumental in bringing fan favorites like Mel back, as well as Kat and Alfie Moon, Jesse Wallace and Shane Ritchie. The couple's return has also prompted the characters of Big Mo Lila Morse and Gene Slater Gillian Wright to return. Meanwhile, York has promised that strong women are back at the heart of the show as he teased a Christmas episode details. York hinted that as well as Adep, the Christmas installments of the show will bring Max and Stacy's affair full circle with first look pictures promising steamy scenes on Christmas Eve. The executive producer said, I realized there were a lot of stories running that lent themselves to significant endings, but one story was crying out in particular for the East Enders treatment. I was head of Department of Continuing Drama 12 years ago when the Brownings were introduced to Albert Square and the temptation to square that circle and bring that story to a full ending was pretty hard to resist. I think, rightly, from the very beginning strong women are back at the heart of the show, exactly where they belong. To do the job justice, York has drafted in former award-winning showrunner and Branding's creator Simon Ashdown. I came up with an idea and I met Simon in a pub, trying to lure him back in, because he had said, don't ask me to come back. He confessed. 
but he said the writer eventually dropped everything to take on the job. Ashdown commented, John had a kind of skeleton of what was happening and then, when I went away, I could just see the ending of it in my head, so that kind of pulled me in. On the dramatic climax to come, actor Jake Wood told the Press Association, I think the Christmas episodes are some of the best I've ever read. It feels like you're at the center of something very special, so I'm just honored to be in that position. If Max finally finds happiness then it would be really boring to watch. Stuff that's going to happen over Christmas seems to me to go from bad to worse, as we'll find out. Can he be redeemed? I hope he can be. I if it is the end of the story, it's been a great story. But hopefully we will see him beyond this. The story will continue on BBC One at 8pm on Friday.